I'm Stephen Bull. Today we're having a look at the Suncatcher X324SS. Traditionally styled but a modern pontoon, this has a three log setup with massive lifting strakes. It makes for a very smooth ride. With the sleek but powerful Yamaha VF150 whirring away, we topped out at 38 miles per hour. Accelerating to 20 miles per hour in an impressive five and a half seconds, we sped past 30 in under nine seconds. Even though you can run the VMAX SHO Yamaha at full throttle and not really know you're pushing it, the 4000 to 4500 RPM range was the most comfortable ride with this Suncatcher that translated to about 25 miles per hour. Even though it is a three log setup, it didn't bank into the turns as sharply as I would have liked, but you're not getting a 23 foot pontoon to bite into corners, you're getting it for comfy cruising fun. And with the X324SS, you're getting that at an excellent price point. Speaking of comforts, having a look at it at the dock, the first thing I thought was it was a good looking and clean design. That helped along with the flush mounted navigation and docking lights. On board, from flooring to seats to bimini, there's a modern, monochromatic look. As expected, under all the seats is roomy storage with nice hinges. The bow has wraparound seating with removable table and an optional bow couch insert. Underneath are courtesy lights and speakers. The third pontoon means in-floor locker which fit the entire canvas cover. The cup holders up here are also removable and under the midship passenger bench we found a useful molded plastic storage tray which would be great for wallets or keys when running about. At the helm, working around the wheel you'll find stereo controls with 12 volt power, trim gauge and tachometer, a nice Garmin Echo 201 dB unit, speedometer, fuel gauge, and useful but otherwise discreet overheat and low oil warning lights. Overall a nice, clean, functional layout. It would be nice to see a bungee style strap or something that you could secure your phone with when running here. The steering wheel is adjustable and under the helm is a storage compartment in the console. Open spaces flanking the runway toward the stern are great for sweaters and hats. We even stored cameras in here. In the center, we found a slide top cooler and table with cup holders. And if you don't want it on board, it has wheel to be rolled out of the way and onto the dock. The rear facing loungers reveal deep storage in the seat backs and cup holders in the armrest. Under the starboard side, there's a massive storage area along with easy battery access. Not to be overlooked are the lockable storage compartments under the rails that you'll find on both sides. And on the other side, the port side now, you can use that as more storage or hang the canvas and have a privacy chamber. At the stern, you'll find a removable but sturdy ski pole. Suncatcher's X324SS with Yamaha's VF150 is an excellent combination of affordability, fun on the water, and impressive performance.